what others don't dare to do. This was the spirit of Nissan's founder and innovator, Yoshisuke Aikawa. It's Nissan's DNA. We have always valued being passionate, innovative, and a challenger. We had countless successes after a series of challenges. We never gave up on our ambitions to move people to a better world. We are passionate about taking on new challenges for innovation. Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to Nissan's global headquarters uh, in Yokohama. So I know many of you have uh, traveled long distance to join us at the Tokyo Motor Show. Thank you very much for your taking time. Bringing the world uh, here to Japan gives us the opportunity to create a new connections and share our stories. Personally, I'm very excited by how much we have to share uh, starting tonight at, and tomorrow's press conference at Tokyo Motor Show. And all the uh, experience uh, we have planned throughout the week. You will get a look at the new chapter of Nissan as we move forward <coughs> with confidence. <coughs> we are guided on the journey by the vision that inspires everyone, everything we do. We call it Nissan Intelligent Mobility. From cars to connectivities to managing energy, Nissan Intelligent Mobility is about creating and enhancing and deploying technologies in our products to redefine the way we move. And by doing that, we can improve people's lives. What does that look like? 10 years ago, we launched the Nissan Leaf. Since then, our electric vehicles have been chosen by nearly half a million customers around the world. And our customers say that they would never want to go back to inter, internal combustion engine again. This means we have shifted our leaf customers' expectation to the different stage, or definitely the better world. That is Nissan Intelligent Mobility. But the Nissan Leaf is not just a car. Battery electric vehicle like the Nissan Leaf can also provide the power when the community is needed the most. Making sure medical professionals, or evacuation centers, and other essential services are powered in the aftermath of a disaster. Whether it is an earthquake here in Japan, or monsoons in Southeast Asia, or uh, tornadoes in the United States, electric vehicle can play a vital role in the times of crisis. For example, did you know that the Nissan Leaf can move an elevator of a 43rd floor story building more than 100 times up and down. That is Nissan Intelligent Mobility. So Leaf, uh, no, Nissan is working with companies that use Nissan Leaf as a company car, 
but also a mobile power station. And as a result, these companies have saved a lot of money and resources. That is Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Starting tonight, you will see and experience innovations, uh, the, the latest uh, uh, Nissan innovations and meet the, the people make, making it happen. As a part of our commitment to this vision and our next chapter, it is my pleasure to give you the first ever look at the Nissan Pavilion, a 10,000 square meter interactive venue that Nissan is bringing here to Yokohama next year. So this Nissan Pavilion is already under construction uh, just steps away from here. We will celebrate its opening early next summer, which will kick off four months of events welcoming visitors around the world. The Nissan Pavilion is can't miss opportunity for us to share with the world our customers, our dealers, and of course, our valued media folks. How Nissan's focus and investment in innovation allow us to create products and technologies today, and how that investment is shaping for us to move tomorrow, and how as a company, we are advancing a vision for the future of mobility. We think you will be excited by what we will share. Thank you once again for joining us this week. And now I will turn the program over to Michael Kalkamo, Nissan Global Motorsports Director, who will share an exciting look at Formula E season six. Here come the lights, 2018-19 Formula E. Begins now, decent start from Roland as he tries to get up the inside. Sebastian Buemi in the silver Nissan gets through into second place. And it is still the Nissan that holds the lead. Second place for Oliver Rowland. Oliver Rowland drove a great race. Second podium, very mature. Nissan have got it all the way to pole position. The Formula E star has earned its stripes over the years. And Sebastian Buemi with his first win of the season. The ABB FIA Formula E Championship comes to a dramatic end on the streets of New York City. Wow, simply amazing. Last year, 
We stunned everyone with a unique livery. But this year, we've gone further by taking more inspiration from our Japanese heritage to create this stunning kimono-themed livery. And we were so excited about our design, we couldn't wait to show you our Leaf Nismo RC as well. Our head designer, Matsuo-san, will actually take you through the story of how the livery was de developed later this evening. Thanks, Matsuo-san. It was less than a year ago when we spoke here in Japan and we showed off our then new Formula E car. And it was just the beginning. And there was no doubt that we were nervous at the start of the season. More than two years of preparation went into getting our cars on the starting grid. And as the first Japanese company to join Formula E, we used the championship to demonstrate the power and the performance of electric vehicles, a key component of Nissan Intelligent Mobility Vision. And the debut of the Gen 2 Formula E car aligned perfectly with the launch of the second generation Nissan Leaf. The fact that we would race in the same city streets as our Nissan Leaf owners was also the perfect fit for Nissan, and one of the reasons that we joined the championship. The years of preparation seemed to last a lifetime, but actually, the first season flew by. One minute, we were on the grid for our first race, and then the next minute, we were in New York to wrap up the year with our first victory. In entering the championship, we took Nissan's experience as a pioneer in electric vehicles for the road, we combine that with Nismo's 60 plus years of motorsport innovation and with EDAMS, a championship winning pedigree team. While we took significant risks developing our dual motor powertrain, which took innovative thinking and really bold engineering, early in the season, I have to admit, we were asking ourselves if we were on the right track. But doing something different is never easy. And as the season started and really began to go into the middle of the season, Sebastian Boemi took our first pole position in round three, and Oliver Rowland our first podium in China. And as the season moved on, we learned, we took what we learned that every race weekend, and we developed our package relentlessly. And by the season's end, our car was fast. And we knew it, but so did our competitors. And sometimes, Change comes when you least expect it. And our dual motor powertrain will no longer be used in season six. But that's not a setback. It's actually just another challenge. And all our competitors now will use a single motor solution. And with this narrower scope, more innovation will occur. It will push us to improve and it will focus our efforts. And energy management will be at the cornerstone and that technology will be transferred to Nissan EVs of today and tomorrow. This is why we're here. Yes, of course, we want to win. But we also need to show the world that Nissan Intelligent Mobility is about delivering the future today. The entire Nissan EDAMS team can look back at our debut season with tremendous pride. Our goals were modest but we exceeded them by a significant margin. After 13 races in 12 cities around the world, our highlights include six podiums, six pole positions, and qualifying in the top six for every race, making Nissan EDAMS the best qualifying team in the championship. And as we move into the next season, while our powertrain has been updated, our driver lineup will stay the same. Sebastian and Oliver produced remarkable performances and worked incredibly well together. Oliver captured our first podium and Sebastian our first win, something not every team can say in their first year in the championship. They both have a lot of respect for each other and we're looking forward to seeing them both fighting at the front of the pack again this year. Sebastian and Oliver are here tonight. Please say hi guys. They'll be available later uh, after the presentation. I'm also excited to announce that Mitsunori Takabashi will stay with the team as our reserve driver. Takabashi-san currently races in Nissan Super GT. 
He won the 2017 Japanese F3 Championship and has competed for Nissan in Europe as well. Takabashi-san is also here and will speak with you later tonight. Thank you. Our debut season was definitely a success, but we're not taking anything for granted. Our determination to succeed remains the same. And this year, we'll do so in honor of our dear friend, Jean-Paul Drio, who we sadly lost in August. Jean-Paul was the owner, the team principal, and a partner of Nissan with EDAMS. But today, we also have the fortune to still have that strong relationship with Jean-Paul's sons, Gregory and Olivier, as owners and team principals. And we're happy to have Gregory here tonight with us as well. Thank you, Gregory. I'd also like to extend a special thank to our partners, Shell and Jörg Vinke, VP of Shell Global Retail, as well as representatives from Richard Meal and Limo, our other partners. Last season, we spread the message of Nissan Intelligent Mobility across the globe and scored our first victory. But now, I really just can't wait to get to the next season in November. Thank you all for joining us. Please come have a look at the cars, and we look forward to seeing and speaking with you during the session tonight. Thank you again. We invite you to come forward to the front of the stage at this time for photo opportunities. We will prepare for the photo session. Please give us a little time. In addition, we will introduce the stage speakers in English. Now, we will lead you for each group to show the gallery. Please, please move forward the light door which is behind the stage. これより We will begin the photo session from now. Executive Vice President Asaka Hoshino, Senior Vice President Lou DeVlis, Global Motorsports Director Michael Kaukamo, and Formula E drivers Sebastian Buemi and Oliver Loran. Next photo session, Senior Vice President Lou DeVlis, Global Motorsports Director Michael Carcamo, and Formula E drivers Sebastian Buemi and Oliver Lurand. Next follow session, 
Senior Vice President Lou DeVries, Global Motorsports Director Michael Calcamo, Formula E drivers Sebastian Buemi and Oliver Laurent, and Formula E team principal Gregory Juliot. Next for the session, Global Motorsports Director Michael Kaukamo, Formula E drivers Sebastian Buemi and Oliver Laurent, and EDEM's reserve driver Mizunori Takaboshi. Next for the session, Global Motorsports Director Michael Kaukamo, Formula E drivers Sebastian Buemi and Oliver Lowland, and Formula E team principal Gregory Joyot. Session is over. Thank you very much. <laughs>